Kayo, Kayo. Hello, loves. Welcome to another video. This is yours truly, Zazara Koruvana. Um, this is a continuation of part one. The previous recording was abruptly cut off. How rude. But here we are again. So, as I was saying, these are the five to seven pure tones of the modern Atlantean language, or Thala. Um, Ma, this is the first tone, high flat, means heavenly mother, celestial mother. Ma, a new mother, a woman who has just given birth, second tone. Third tone is Ma, which is a mid-tone. Th this means earth mother. Ma, fourth tone, falling tone. This means mother who has just lost her child. So like a mourning mother. Ma, which is an evil or wicked mother, an abuser of her child. Then you have Ma, a joyful mother, a happy mother. She's she's ever so gleeful. Ma, which is a questioning mother, um, or a confused mother, you know, just concerned. Okay. And one thing I would like to mention about the tonal system of the Atlantean language and how it's different from the tonal system of other languages is that in other languages, um, tones can have, can cause a word to have a, um, a completely different meaning in regards to the concept. Okay. Whereas in Atlantean, though the tones are different, they still, um, retain their core meaning. So for example, you have ma, the core meaning of ma is femininity, feminine, mas uh, not masculine, motherly, okay, maternal. And depending on how you pronounce that word or change the tone, it means something different as it relates to maternity, um, femininity, but it doesn't mean something completely different, such as how hey, you would have in Mandarin Chinese with ma, you know, mother, and then um, ma, which means, if I remember, um, horse. Um, I could be wrong. It's been a while since I studied Chinese, but you can correct me. <laughs> but um, so moving on to the masculine side of things, you have the same concept, but it's mirrored. So you have ahaya, oya, or oyu means divine, divine father, the great god. You have oyu which means great-grandfather, aya, grandfather, aya, which means father, man, but also means um, he in a, in a formal third-person pronoun. You have aye, which means brother or he in um, an informal, informal third-person pronoun when you address a man or masculine being or entity. You have yaya or yayi, which means dad or daddy, colloquial. Then you have yaya, which is male lover. And the same thing with um, um, mama. Okay. Be very careful when you use this word in addressing or talking to your father. Okay. It's all, you know, it, it I know it can be confusing and kind of scary and some embarrassing, funny things could happen when you speak in the language. It's the nature of the language. It happens. You know, one one syllable can have like a thousand different meanings, but I'm going to get into that later. <laughs> but with that being said, you have the same concept as the Ma frequency. So you have Ya, Heavenly Father, Celestial Father. Ya, a new father, man who, a man who um, just met his child for the first time. Ya, Earth Father, which is your everyday common human father, opposed to your Heavenly Divine Father. You have yeah, father who has just lost his child, a mourning father. Yeah, an evil or wicked father, abuser of his child. Yeah, a joyful father. And then you have, yeah, a questioning father or confused father. And if you haven't noticed by now, ma and ya means mother and father, but they also mean femininity, masculinity, um, man, woman. It all correlates to the same meaning. Okay, so this will conclude this part, and in the third part, I will go into more detail about the tonal system of the Atlantean language. So, bye.